and on this big computer screen, your face is like life size. So I'm going to have nightmares tonight. I hope so. Yeah. But don't dream of me. At least I don't have to smell you. Yeah. Yeah. I smell delicious. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex. is the Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Thank you for supporting us on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter account. Subscribe to the like button. And uh, it helps the algorithm. It felt uh, it f- feels wrong to do a mom joke in, in this review. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> um, but obviously we are on Skype right now. Rick is a little sicky sick and I don't want his disgusting germs in my face. So, uh, but uh, obviously this, this uh, movie just came out and I wanted to get this review out because obviously it's a new film for all of you and we are doing a movie review. Rick, you can do your thing. Of the new 2023 film, Gul Mohar. How do you okay. say that? How would you say it? Um, I'm looking at the spelling of it right now. Um, hold on. <clears throat> that might be that might be close enough for hand grenades. Gul Mohar. Yeah. Gul Mohar. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, where, where is it? There it is. Good grief. Uh, yeah. Gul Mohar. Okay. Directed by Rahul V. Chitte, Chitila. He also wrote it as well. Uh, and then starring uh, our Dosti of Dosts, the incomparable Manoj Bajpayee, along with 10,000 other people. This is a, yep. uh, a big ensemble piece. Um, and so if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. And this is going to be uh, mostly non-spoilers. If we want to get to some spoils, we will get to it uh, later on. We will tell you before. Just since it's new, that's the only time we ever do non, uh, a non-spoiler one is when it's a new film that everybody has not seen. In, Di- in, in India, you can see this on Disney Hotstar. If you're in America, you can see this on Hulu. Um, and so please go check that out, uh, and we will get into the review right now. Rick, your initial thoughts of Gulmar? My initial thoughts are mixed. It it um, And I... A lot of what I want to talk about is going to be in the spoiler section because the mixture is mostly related to story and writing aspects for me that are going to fall into the category of far more technical. So that being said at the outset, I will say I think there's going to be a a very large difference between people who – just like to watch movies and don't know the intricacies of screenwriting and everything else that you and I would critique at that level – I think anybody in that category is going to probably really enjoy the movie. Um, I I think it'll be mixed like me. You may not have this, the same opinions I do when we get into the spoilers about mm. some of the some, the, the only real challenges I had with it at all are related to story and how things were justified and unfolded. The cast I thought was uniformly great. I believed this was a family. Manoj Bajpayee is Manoj Bajpayee. I mean, and he's probably one of the better actors at giving you believable nuances that other actors would do and it would look like either indicating or pre-shaping uh, every, you know where it's it's a it's not an easy thing to do for example to just um uh, this is trying to not give a spoiler right now but let's say your character has a particular kind of intricacy of behavior a tick of some kind it, it takes a, an experienced actor to pull that off and make it believable and just he, he does it. So uh, for me, it didn't – I had higher expectations based on the trailer. I still enjoyed watching it, but ultimately for me it was a kind of a mixed bag. Uh, I'm, I'm interested to – because I, I really loved this movie. Uh, I, I'm, so I'm interested to hear, hear what you have to say uh, sure. with what you didn't enjoy as much. But I, I thought this was a beautifully weaved story of so many – different storylines very similar to like a monsoon wedding or yeah um, good comparison um i guess kapoor and sons i enjoyed this much more Another than good i comparison. enjoyed Ka- to kapoor and sons though um but i i like how they they weaved it all together there's a lot of storylines going on and uh i i felt them all and this is a it took it in a direction that i just wasn't expecting i thought it was gonna be mm-hmm. a lot more about you know her leaving uh mm-hmm. and obviously it was because we saw that in the trailer, it's not a spoiler, right? Um, but 
they took it in in a much different direction uh, at times than I thought it would. Yeah, I agree um, with you. I and, absolutely and agree with you. I, I did enjoy and that's that. A positive. But let's start with uh, our, our dosti of dost, Manoj Bajpayee. Uh, one of the greatest actors India has ever uh, produced. Uh, one of the greatest actors uh, acting right now in the world. Um, he's so flipping good. Uh, <laughs> just like, and he's so versatile. Like he really this, is. this this character is nothing like any of his other characters that I've ever seen him play. He can play one of Anything. like a Nawaz uh, villain. He can play a uh, like this kind of meek, uh, kind of gentle older man father figure. Uh, but he he plays this with such honesty and such fragility. Uh, mm-hmm. But with also like you could tell like he was like a uh, uh, more let me not a strict dad but like he he also commanded that presence over his kids and he was a matriarch or the, the patriarch of his family yeah. uh and and all that but he brought so much that's yeah, there's i would get into it later but there's certain scenes in this man where i was just like <laughs> absolutely heartbroken <laughs> yeah 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 for, for this man yeah <laughs> and he played it so incredibly uh, like this, if you give this to a, a non-experienced actor, th- that person, as you said, would be indicating all over the place. Uh, <laughs> and, um, he just, he just plays it with such honesty and such, he's a master at what he does. He is, he is a, a brilliant, great actor. And he was on full display in this film. I agree. He is right up there with Pankaj, um, based on the body of work that we've seen from those two actors, are without question some of the most malleable and versatile thespians I've had the pleasure to watch in recent memory who can can, can take any particular type of story, genre, character, and not just make it believable, but they have the, uh, the magnificent and what every actor should strive for ability to simultaneously create a being that's never existed before yet simultaneously they're always putting all of themselves into the character Mm -hmm. which is what gives it its innate believability there's no um they're they're just moment to moment honest believable and again the 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 delicate nuances (laughs) it's it's why people want Manoj Bajpayee to play this kind of character, and it's why an actor like Manoj Bajpayee wants to play this kind of character. They're yeah. complex, they're intricate, they're emotional, they've got a lot happening in and around them, and so, yeah, he, he without question, is the star of the film. Yeah, and but everybody else, I thought, did a, a fantastic job. Uh, yeah, the whole cast is great. I think, like, uh, obviously, the, the, the mom in it, uh, I thought she did a, a really good job. I'm trying to find her name because i'm pretty sure she's a legendary is it uh, sharmila uh ten ten gore right yeah i believe um, that's absolutely correct she was in the world of a poo uh which is where we saw her originally i think yeah um she did a, a a really 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 good job i really enjoyed it. our our guy our guy from uh, uh farzy farzy yeah uh who played a really interesting character uh, but played it with such honesty as you would expect a veteran actor of him uh, of his caliber to do. Yeah. Um, and and one that you don't really root for in the slightest, but you know you have to have those actors to play that character honestly to make the story go where it needs to go. Yeah. Um, the all all the the children I thought did a good job. I I don't know who his brother was in this. But I, uh, I thought he did a really good uh, Manoj's brother. Yeah. Who, uh, that guy, uh, I was just talking about, uh, was his son. Yeah. Um, I thought he did a really good job, even though he was more of a, a much smaller role in this. But, yeah. Even a little, a little smaller than supporting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I thought he did a really good job. The, the, the daughters, the, uh, cause it's hard to keep track of all the names. I'm bad with names. Yeah. It's a lot of characters, but they're without giving anything away of any of the characters. Um, I thought all of them did a really, really good job. It was a really strong supporting cast. I agree in this film. I agree. In fact, I'm looking on IMDB here cause I want to give credit as always. Uh, when, when you see a good cast put together, it's ultimately up to the director and the producers cause their decisions final. But, 
hats off to the team of Sanjeev Maria, Dilip Shankar, and Prashant Singh, who are the casting directors credited on IMDb, because I felt like the casting uniformly, uh, I, the most important thing with acting is believability. And I believed all of these people had these relationships with, a, with one another that they had. Um, I wouldn't have thought of any other person to put in their roles. Mm-hmm. I, I just thought it was, it was really wonderfully His. cast, and they, re- they were really wonderfully compatible. Yeah, his uh, Manoj's wife as well. I thought did a, a, a absolutely really, really good job did very as well. Good job. Did the the help uh, as well? All of mm-hmm. that. Like, there's so many people in this film. Yeah. Uh, it's a big, big ensemble piece. Even um, even uh, with, I don't want to give any spoilers away, but there's a character toward the end of the film who you'll know what I mean when I say is across the street. Yeah. Um, small role, but does a great job. Does a great job. Um, does a fantastic job. I agree. Um, and overall, I thought the 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 story it, it touched me. Uh, it, well, once again, it took it in places. I mean, there's <laughs> there's and we'll get to it more in spoilers. In spoilers, yeah. Um, about the specifics because I I really don't want to give anything away because it's obviously the the crux of the the film essentially. Yeah. Um, but with with like you said, some some surprises you you don't yeah. foresee coming. Uh, and some stuff that was really like, whoa, yeah, <laughs> whoa, yeah, agreed. what in the hell, yeah, um, kind of moments uh, in this film. And then um, I thought the score did, was really nice in yeah. this film as well. Uh, really subtle a lot of times. But very then, pretty. Uh, they, they did have a few songs in this that were that were uh, nice, very pretty songs. Overall, I think it's a um, a really well done film. I I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, and everything like that. What were what were some of the? You just said without giving anything away. What are the, some of the the issues that you had with it? Um, without going well, into yeah full, yeah. I'll, I'll, just I'll so the non spoilers. Yeah. So for non spoiler people, uh, and please, I would I would encourage everybody to watch it because, like I said, I would say I would say probably at least seventy five to eighty percent of the audience who watches this is going to walk away happy they did. Mm-hmm. I, I really do. And anyone else, and I wasn't unhappy at the end. I just had challenges for me where I thought, man, I wish it had been fill in the blank as far as story or screenwriting is concerned. Gotcha. Um, uh, and and again, like you and I, I may point those things out, and you you will. I, I'm guessing you'll say, oh, I can see why you saw that, but I I disagree with you. It didn't bother mm. me. I bet that's where we're gonna go. It's gotcha. simply, it's a matter of, in a word, there were certain aspects of the storytelling that took a turn based on people's decisions or what they said that for me lacked a deeper justification for me to believe it. And I'll explain what I mean by that. It it really comes down to certain things. And there's one particular scene that I'll mention that I thought lost some of its efficacy and power by reason of the way the scene was shot again. Audience members who don't think about those things, I could feel would be totally absorbed and never have a problem with it. So that's mm. that's it in a nutshell. Um, no well, uh, for the non-spoiler people, this will be the end of the non-spoiler review. So if you haven't watched it, please go watch it once again. It's Disney Hotstar yeah, or, or on Hulu. Uh, I think you'll you'll really really enjoy it. Probably even more so as an Indian who can relate 100%. to these to these style of family dynamics because it's a very even though i felt it was really well done in terms of i i think a lot of people can appreciate this story regardless um, because families are families but obviously there's different cultural and different ways certain families run that are very oh, yeah. different obviously like in india um and so this is a very indian story very um, indian story but i think uh, almost everybody can appreciate a, a lot of aspects of the film so let us know uh uh, this will be the end of the non-spoilers. So if you haven't watched it, please go watch it. And then if you'd like to be in the spoiler section, we're going to start that now. Um, okay, so this is for everybody that has seen the movie. Yeah, seen the movie. Because let the movie tell the story. Yes. Yeah. Um, obviously, the big, the big, <laughs> and I, 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 I teared up not at the actual thing, but it's when I started to think about if I, if this happened to me. Mm. Obviously, of like when the will came out, right? Oh my goodness. Um, and. You f- you <laughs> you see Manoj, who ugh, just a drop dead amazing performance that he gave, right? Um, and he starts reading it, and you're like, okay, he's gonna not gonna have the house. But then to realize that the mom Knew. signed signed off yeah. on this thing that said, "Since I have no real son," yeah, I was like, holy shit! <laughs> and I, I what? Yeah, and and there was. 
And you, you, you can't fake what Manoj does in that scene. It's, it's just from experience of an actor who knows how to be in the moment, maybe substitute. I don't know how much of that needed to be substituted for him because he's so good. Yeah. But I could see, you know, the way this particular character would read that letter is going to be very, very different than the last film we saw him in. Yeah. Or because this character so does not like confrontation, so does not like to upset the apple cart. You know, like his wife said, you don't kill cockroaches. Yeah. And you can, I could visibly see, it almost felt like Manoj himself was close to throwing up. He was so nervous and so upset in that moment and had an anger that this character would exhibit. He's not the kind of guy who would come into the room and say, what the hell is this? Yeah. He's the guy who's knowing I've got to share this because I can't, this is wrong to do, but I'm, it, it was just yeah, it was beautiful. A phenomenal. And I, I teared up, at, not at the thing, but is when I thought about like, if I had an adopted son, like if oh. I was an adopted child and for him to, for me to think if he would have ever read something that said, I don't have a real son. <sighs> That made me tear up. I was like, I, cause I can't even imagine, or like, it's a different emotion that would come out if somebody else told Leland that he's not my real son. That would be right. a different emotion that would come right, out of, of me course, and, and of extreme anger that I would just beat the yeah. living shit out of whoever said that. Right. That's wrong. He is my real son. <laughs> Being adopted doesn't make you somebody's not real son. Right. Adopting them makes them your real son. Like, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. so that whole scenario of, and then the fact that she was like, ever thought it would be something about the house. Like, like he was upset at the house. <laughs> yeah. That's like, not the issue. No, <laughs> it's that his mom signed off on something that said, I'm not your real child. Like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It's like one of the most infuriating things you can think. And one of the most hurtful things you could ever think, and you, you completely understood why Manoj was reacting the way he was reacting. Sure. He was like, of course you would react this way. This yeah, is your I, mom. <laughs> well, I, when, when, it, when it was revealed what was in the will, I, made a, I said out loud, wow. <laughs> wow, how painful that is. Yeah, that's, it's just absolutely awful yeah. um, to ever hear that uh, from, your, from your mom. It's... <laughs> And I knew it was going to happen in the end. And it, it wasn't as egregious as some other films. But the fact that she never really had to atone for that, um, which I, I said in the group, I was like, you Indians just love, forget, like your, uh, your mom could literally do the worst thing in the world, murder the rest of your family. And the only remaining son will still forgive the mom in the end. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's just, obviously Indians are like, it's the, you know, the, the the complete respect for elders and moms we have. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. I come from the South. We have the exact same thing, but also I, I feel like at some point in it, like I said, and there's other films that are much more egregious than, than this one that I, I, I didn't have as much issue with this, her, you know, getting forgiven by Minoja in the end. Yeah. But um, it's just, <laughs> it's like, I wanted a scene of like, them really sitting down and having to like hash out how much she hurt him. Yeah. What she did, like she literally signed off on a piece of paper without reading it. And she could say that, you know, I, we had a good argument after that. I'm like, okay, but still, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That, that was one of several aspects for me that fell into the, the, the non believability for me. Oh, it, it was in the storytelling believable for me because it's Indian. I, I, I don't think there's anything still, not believable about it. It would be unbelievable in, in the United States because yeah. I think there would be a different conversation had, but it's complete. We've seen it a billion times in Indian films. That's just, and I, I talked to the, the group and they said, yeah, that would, no, that's, that's completely and utterly believable. That's exactly what would happen mm. uh, in this scenario. Yeah, and, is that that? I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know then if, this was supposed to be a cautionary tale or if it was supposed to be a, this is what families are like. Yeah. I, I, I don't know which one it was because it felt at times it was supposed to be a cautionary tale and then suddenly it would be, I think it could uh, be this both. is just, this is just how we, we are. Um, and yeah, so, I yeah, that, that I think was, it could be both. Uh, but this film was obviously, a, it had so many different messages in this film. Oh, it had a lot. Yeah, it had, it had a ton of different, including one that I, I didn't because I thought this film was going to be a lot more about the mom leaving. 
right? Mm-hmm. Like that whole thing. And, and it really didn't come up as, as much in like in the beginning. And obviously they had to move out and all that. But I thought that was going to be like the whole drama of the whole film is she's leaving. Mm-hmm. But it was really kind of a small part. But in, in the end, I did enjoy because uh, obviously the, the, the daughter of, uh, of one of her granddaughters was obviously um, a lesbian. Mm-hmm. And that loves uh um story and also the dynamic of her boyfriend at the time uh and and i I enjoyed that whole thing but then Mm -hmm. bring it back in the end you realize the real reason she's actually leaving Mm -hmm. is because she wants to be herself and she felt her entire life she can't be herself Mm -hmm. even around her family right now because she she gave the wink at the at the end because they said you know you could be with this singer and she turned to him and he's like, oh, no, she's going to be with a woman. She wants to be with mm-hmm. a woman down in Pondicherry. <laughs> yeah. And so that I, I enjoyed that aspect of it um, because, once again, I don't I feel like there's not enough LGBTQ stories, uh, even though it's a, more of a subplot in this film yeah. um, than anything else. What do you think about that aspect yeah. of the film? Well, I, I thought, you know, going back to I don't think you can be both a cautionary tale and an observational tale because they're counterintuitive to each other, and I think they undermine the message. Um, if you're if you're going to be cautionary, the things that you highlight that we ought to be cautionary about, if you then are no longer cautionary about them, it's a contradiction in signals. It's it's should I be. Sh- is this something you're telling us that we should be cautionary about? Or is this something you're telling us this is just the way it is and oh, come see, come saw? Example, there's a big cautionary message about don't hide things from your family. It's unhealthy, it will hurt your family, it will hurt your relationships. Be truthful and honest with each other. Mm-hmm. She's, no one but, the granddaughter knows why she's going to Pondicherry. There's there's another bomb that's going to blow up soon because she's hiding it. So what is it? Is it cute that she's hiding it or is it just because it doesn't come across as that's a dangerous thing to do. It comes across as kind of a wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, grandma, you silly lesbian. When previously we had been told, be bold, live your life, be honest, especially with your family. So I don't know how you can have both. Well, and- I didn't. I didn't know if she was completely because she. Does, I don't think she knows that there's a woman she's going to find down there either. So I mean, I, I think she's obviously a little more bisexual than lesbian because uh, she did say she fell in love with her, her husband. And no, but uh, the, so, the signaling is that's why she's going to Pondicherry. I mean, that's yeah. what she winks about. Um, but I mean, she doesn't know, and so I, 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 I don't agree that you can't be a cautionary tale and just a. This is kind of or however you worded that. I think you can be both. Uh, you, do? you think yeah, you can caution I, people about, yeah, you ought to be honest with your family and at the same time be dishonest but, with your family. But some people aren't. And so like, it's just the story of the film. So like, so you don't share everybody. Everybody doesn't share everything with everyone, uh, even their family. I, I sure. I don't but, tell my family a shit to the things. I'm just not that kind of person. Right. Like, it's, it's, it's my life. It's uh, you know, I, I get you're my family, but it's just, I mean, not my staff, but like my immediate family of, parents and siblings and all that kind of stuff. Some people are just a lot more private, even like, especially with their, with their sexuality and with the way it is in India. And when she grew up in India, she probably she still has a lot of reservations about actually sharing that with people. Well, I, I'm, I'm sure she does. It's just when you wrap it up in a bow of a holy celebration where we're all one big happy family, mm-hmm. that seems transcendently dysfunctional, mm-hmm. not something to be happy about as an ending. Um, and, and I, I, you had mentioned before it may be an Indian thing, but it just didn't seem justified that something as monumental as what happened to him mm. has no resolution other than it's holy or whatever his thinking process was to come back and reconcile with his mom. I didn't see anything that justified the reconciliation other than something unhealthy. I t- I think you're just like missing. You said, I, I think you're just missing the Indian aspect of it. That's yeah, I've like, seen. That, we've seen that in films ten billion times now. It's just it's it's literally. That's why I say I, I think it can be both. I, it's just it's how they are as a people. Like the the respect for their obviously parents and elders, uh, and and all that kind. Of, even though I think at times that can be a fault uh, to to a certain extent, obviously. Um, and I, I get I get what you're saying. I just I I don't think I agree with it. 
Um, and you know, you're an idiot and you're wrong. Uh, <laughs> You know, kid. Um, I do want to talk about Manoj's uh, uh, arc, though, with uh, with his father and everything. Once again, this is in the spoiler section because I did really enjoy that that part of it because I thought he was going to come and I thought they were going to have a complete. Do you think he knew that he was his son? Because he said some things. I that... hope not, because I don't even know how he found out that was his dad. That was another justifiable thing for me that made no sense. As though we never found out how he knew a man who abandoned him. There was nothing that the audience was given to explain how he suddenly knew that this man happens to be nearby enough that he finds out who he is for years. That, uh, I, I'd assume it was ancestral or I don't know what they have in India for that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so. but that's the thing. The audience is left to come up with a lot of assumptions about something that's pretty remarkable. I mean, he was just left there the odds of him actually finding his biological father are extraordinarily high and it would have been lovely and I think helpful to the storytelling if we had at least known how he came to know that. Hmm. Okay. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't yeah. see an issue with it. Uh, but no, I did. I, I enjoyed their meeting uh, immensely. Um, that actor, whoever that actor is, he doesn't show up on IMDb here. Oh, what a shame. But uh, he, did a, he did a good job. I, I really enjoyed his performance. I enjoyed their scene together because it was a lot of Minoj's wanting, you know, his father, mm -hmm. but also anger of why, why'd you do this? And also, why haven't you tried to find me? Mm -hmm. Kind of, kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, it, I, it was a lot of unspoken, but, uh, it, you know, I, it was well, crafted in the writing in terms of what he was saying uh it wasn't like a direct like i'm your son why didn't you try to come find me it was a lot of subtle uh messaging and all that and like what his life would have been differently if he if his father would have and you understood why the father gave him up mm -hmm. um even though you're also like and you understood why Manoj would be pissed off of of why his father gave him up mm -hmm. uh and stuff like but you also like Manoj is like, if I was, if you didn't give me up, I would have probably been here to helping you in this, whether it was a tea station, I don't know exactly what it was. I think it was just a chai, a chai station or something like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. But I, I liked the way the scene was done and I liked his performance a lot too. Yeah. I liked his performance. I liked, um, the way that, that they showed us it was his dad simply with the hand tremor. Yeah. I thought that was really nice. I just from the writing standpoint, I didn't think it was necessary for us for him to find his dad. I thought it was far more important and may have been even more palpable for him to be without ever finding his dad, because that's more likely than not in real life. And it would add to the depth of the pain he was already feeling about the fact that his adopted family did what they did to him in the will. Um, I felt like I just didn't. I enjoyed the scene and I thought it worked for what it was, but it too was something that I didn't necessarily feel needed to be in the story. Hmm. And the other part, the other thing that the, I had mentioned earlier that there was a scene that I felt uh, when the reading of the will took place hmm. and everyone was sitting together, mm -hmm. that was set up for so much Vesuvius like explosiveness dramatically with everybody with such a good ensemble and it began that way when he drops the bomb and everybody's talking and then out of nowhere the uncle stands up and says I'm late for an appointment I said what I was so engaged and I felt like Manoj leaving and going out to the car and continuing the scene outside weakened the moment because when he told her to shut up and leave there had been a de-escalation in tension by the physical leaving of the room versus if it had stayed in the room from reading of the will to shut up mom i felt like that would have been a far more uh effective dramatic device in terms of making us take a deep breath at the end of it and go holy crap that was a big deal that just took place and that was that was again my my perspective on a critiquing, directing the scene aspect is all. Hmm. No, I didn't see that at all. I thought it was a powerful scene. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, no, I, I didn't I didn't see anything particularly wrong with that scene. Um, I, I thought it was very 
obviously I don't think any of the kids really spoke because it's more of the um, yeah patriarchal system that they were kind of respecting. You know, the elders were kind of talking. Right, of course. All, all the elders were basically yeah, talking yeah, yeah. at the time. Um, yeah, no, I didn't have I didn't have that issue. That's interesting. Uh, another subplot that I would like to talk about is the 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 I don't, I don't know what because I don't know their names, but the 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 help storyline, mm-hmm. uh, which I thought was a beautiful kind of subplot of the film as well. Very uh, um, Monsoon Wedding with VJ yeah, and, and Tilo exactly. Tama. Great comparison. Um, which I think that that's probably the most similar film to this one that I that I've that I've seen. Um, it was that whole love story of like the, the help falling in love with kind of somebody of a lower caste, I guess, or, yeah. or a little less uneducated. Yeah. Um, which is once again, a very Indian dynamic to the film. Yeah. Um, and, and, every, and <laughs> I also feel like, and I know it's just the culture, but sometimes I feel like Indians are really mean to their help. <laughs> yeah like the way they talk to them I know. and i get it it's like it's just how the culture is and how like they don't see anything wrong. they just that's how they talk but i'm like you just seem like you're being a real meanie to this uh, no it <laughs> is i know i know of things that happen that are that are real in real indian households with the help that are that really bother me and it wasn't like egregious in this film but I, i've seen it in a ton of films and i'm like it feels like you could be a little nicer to this person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I agree. Uh, yeah. But I did love that. I, that yeah. what was probably, um, for me, that was the most uh, fulfilling in terms of I felt like everything was fleshed out and justifiable and I was rooting for and uh, really was a, was a really thoroughly thought out storyline was, was that storyline. I did also enjoy the fact that the grandma was extremely progressive uh, mm-hmm. for a grandma uh, yeah. in an Indian film because that doesn't happen often. Doesn't happen it's a usually lot. Usually, the no. grandma is the one that's set in her ways, or you know, you will get married to this person. Blah blah blah. She was um, outside of the big blunder of signing something that says your eldest son is not your son. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> which they is did. obviously a big blunder. Yeah, but um, they did in that in that fight scene. I thought they did a good job of her explaining why she she did what she did at the time, and that that wasn't something she did from her heart. It's something she did out of a point of just. I'm just I'm such a big skeptic. I never believe that. I'm like you're a liar. You're you <laughs> you were just caught. You're lying right so, now. <laughs> If you believe she's a liar who just got caught, how can you be okay with the simple rectification of their relationship? Well, no, I I wish there was a a bigger, (laughs) that's what I said. I wish there was a bigger, like, come to Jesus meeting per se. Oh, you uh, did say that. You did uh, say that. Between them, because I feel like that was a a really big bombshell to say, like, for your son to find out that you signed off on. Right. uh, That I feel like there needed to be a, a more of a... There's a there's a saying called a come to Jesus meeting. Come to like Jesus. A, exactly. That's a, a really intense uh, like conversation basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um that I, I wish would have happened. Yeah. Um but it's just, you know, it's how Indians as a society are. They just they're they're somebody and somebody in the group said our love for our mom our dad doesn't even get that benefit of the doubt. A lot of times it's it's really only the mom that gets like um immunity 100% yeah. of the time <laughs> which is you know an interesting aspect of Indian uh, culture yeah. anyways uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this film it looks like you enjoyed it just not as much as I did um, but uh, obviously I will see everything Manoj ever does absolutely all the time. he's just such a phenomenal actor and I, I think everybody in this cast should be very proud uh, of this film they did uh, a good job I, I thoroughly enjoyed it so let me know what you thought about this film in the comments below did you like it did you hate it uh, what did you think about it and all other aspects <laughs> down below 